Hi, I'm Miss Gale and welcome back to Godly Play. Hey, look around. You see anything different? I hope you do. I hope you notice that we have a new color today. You remember we've had months and months of green in ordinary times, but something new has happened. Something's changing. And so we've changed the color. What color do you see here? It's the color blue. You know what other color that is a sign of this time, this special season that we're in right now? Purple, purple and blue. Well, do you remember back when we talked about Lent? And we talked about the color purple then too, didn't we? Do you remember what I told you about the color purple? What do you remember? That's right, it's the color of kings, royalty. Way back when, only people who were royalty were even allowed to wear the color purple. No one else could wear it. And the color blue is also a color of, not mostly royalty, but of wealth, because it's hard to make the color blue. Not too many things dye things the color blue. So it's a very special color and let you know something special is about to happen. That's right, do you know? Christmas. Well, but it's not Christmas yet. We have to get ready because Christmas is a mystery. Oh no, we're back to that again, aren't we? It is, it is, it's a mystery. Because think about it, the color blue and the color purple they let us know that a king is coming. And you think about kings, and they thought about kings back then, kind of the way we think about kings today. The kings are rich and powerful and live in big castles. Well, the king that was coming was not like a king like that at all. This king had no powerful army. This king had no huge castle. And this king had no treasure either. Why, everything about this king was different. This king was a baby, a baby born in a barn. Okay, this is getting mysterious, isn't it? I think we're gonna have to think about it. You know, that's the thing about mysteries. Sometimes they're hard to understand and to get into. Sometimes we need some help getting ready to be aware of how we learn and participate in the mystery. You know, most people get so busy this time of the year that they're not paying attention to the mystery of Christmas at all. They're paying attention to their to-do list, their gift list and wrapping and letter writing and sending off packages and baking cookies and decorating the house. And that's all so much fun. And I love doing that too. But I have to remember that I need to stop and watch and wait and pay attention to what's changing, the change that I need to be brought into my world and yours too. Hmm, I wonder who could help us learn about doing that. Well, you know, back then we had people called prophets and prophets were people that were so close to God and God came so close to the prophets that they would just know things and they would pay attention to things and they always knew what was most important. And back at the time, before the birth of this baby king, the prophets were telling the Holy Family, the shepherds, the Magi, they were saying, hey, you need to get to Bethlehem. They pointed the way. Well, what was going to happen there? They weren't so sure, but they knew it was something incredible. Something incredible was going to happen in Bethlehem and you need to go. And so they all did. They traveled and that happened then and it happens for us now too. That's part of the mystery. Well, trips take time, don't they? And getting to Bethlehem and getting us ready to receive that mystery takes a little time. And the church decided a long time ago, you know what? 
I think we need to set aside some time to get ready. They set aside four whole weeks, four weeks starting today. We start Advent and each day we're going to get a little closer to Bethlehem, a little closer to the mystery of Christmas, but we're going to need to stop, watch, listen, or we'll miss it. You don't want to miss the mystery, do you? So let's not get too busy. Let's take some time. A little light helps us, doesn't it, when we need to find our way. And so today, when you light the first candle on your Advent wreath, you're lighting a candle in honor of the prophets, the prophets that were so close to God and God was so close to them that the prophets knew where to go. They knew what to do. They knew what was most important. They shared the light of their knowledge with us. So we light a candle and we bring the light of the prophets to us. Ooh, see that nice glowing light? Hmm. And the light was then, and the light is now. This light's right here with me, isn't it? But you can see it where you are. So it's here and there, kind of like the prophets and their light was then and now. Would you like to see it change? This is a mystery how light changes. And you know, most people don't pay attention to this at all. So watch carefully. You see the light? Watch. It's here now. What? Can you see? Can you see how the light has changed? Why it's spreading out into the room everywhere. Like there's no place I can go in this room. Even Ellie can't find a place to go that that light won't touch her, even though you don't see it. It's just been transformed. Why, that light is being shared with you still right now. And that's good to know because we need the light of the prophets and we need to know the way to go. And that's what they tell us. So I hope you'll be paying attention this week, listening carefully this week, because you know what I think? I think maybe, just maybe, there might be a prophet watching this video right now. Because you know, prophets can be boys and prophets can be girls. Prophets are just people who listen carefully and pay attention and they know things and they listen to God. And I hope you do too. So this week, Today is the day you get to light your Advent wreath. So I hope you watched Misella's video last week and put together your own Advent wreath. All you really need are four candles and a little circle. You can do it however you want to do it. You can even make it out of construction paper if that's what you want. But if you have your candles, today's the day you're going to light one candle. See this candle and this candle, they're purple like our important color purple that we talked about. But today is the day that we honor the light that the prophets shone upon the path to Bethlehem. They told us which way to go. So let's follow those prophets and listen carefully. And day by day, step by step, we're gonna get ourselves ready for the mystery of Christmas. So spend some time, you know, I like to light my Advent wreath and then sit and have a little snack, maybe a cup of tea, share some stories, do some artwork, or sing some songs. There's so many wonderful Christmas songs or Advent songs, as the case may be. There actually are Advent songs and I hope you'll listen to some. So have your feast time, pray to God, ask God to open your heart and your eyes and your ears so you too can be a prophet and you too will get ready for the mystery of Christmas. And I'll see you next time.
Peace and love to you all.